Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, hello. So today's video is about how our um, Muslim community sees women who are having a hard time getting pregnant. And I think this is something that we should talk about or, you know, start a discussion on this because it is, you know, really, really, I think it's really, really bad. And, um, but before I start the... The discussion or not discussion before I start the video I just want to go ahead, I want to go ahead and apologize for the bad lighting and for you know recording this video at night I'm trying to keep my promise and upload upload a video for you guys um, either tomorrow or today if I finish this inshallah so I do apologize but I just want to go ahead and talk about this and I want to share a story with you so it's it is going to be like a little bit of a story time and the lessons that I want to draw from this or that I want you guys to draw from it is please let's um, treat our sisters who are having a hard time um, getting pregnant you know let's treat them very well because a lot of the times we see them as they are cursed that they are um, that they'll give the evil eye to other sisters who are having a baby and and you know and it's, it's about time we kind of you know start seeing them and treating them very well and um, the story begins with this there's a sister who has recently given birth by the way I want to stop here and say first of all I don't know these individuals personally I've never met them I, this is a story that was told to me but it just devastated me and it hurt me so bad and um, and I couldn't believe somebody can bring themselves to say something so horrific, like terrible. But the story starts with this. There's a sister who has given birth recently. And a few of her friends wanted to come together and visit her. And um, on the way, they have met another friend who also know the sister. And she heard about it and she said, you know, she wanted to go and visit the sister as well. Um, and this sister who decided to join um these other sisters you know she has been having a hard time getting pregnant for a very long time and um but anyway she joins them and they all you know came together and um they reached the sister's house and but before they entered one of the sisters said you know um let me go ahead and let her know that you joined us um and uh, see what she says so the sister goes in and let her know, hey, you know, so and so is with us, inshallah, she wanted to go come visit you and make dua for you, inshallah, is that okay? And the way the sister responded, the one who has recently give, um, given birth, was, no, no, sister, I don't want her to come in, she's going to give the evil eye to my child. And the that was so, so terrible because the sister's at the door and she hears this. And can you just imagine how devastating that is to her, to hear that. Here she is, she does want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless her with a kid as well, but she came not to give an evil eye to the child and to, you know, she didn't come with ill intention. She came with good heart. She wanted to um, make dua for the sister and to hear this from her, it's just it just devastated her and she cried right there and then. And that was just so uncalled, uncalled for, for real. And um, this sister could have just easily said, you know, um, uh, just make dua or give, you know, read the Quran on her child or make dua for her child for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect him and just easily have her come in or just come up with any other excuse and, you know, and and just say, hey, you know, I'm not feeling well today. Something came up. Do you mind if you guys come visit me another time? Anything could have been said, but she's decided to say that. That is just so heartless to utter those phrases. And it's just really, really hurtful. But I wanted to share that story because that is something that happens on a constant... Like, it happens all the time. Um, even though I don't know these individuals personally, but I have heard so many other discussions that uh, talks about another sister who's having a hard time. And to be honest with you, even me, I... When I wanted to start my family, I was really afraid to have, like, you know, to hear this about me if, if, if I'm, you know, Alhamdulillah, Allah blessed me with a child. Um, it didn't take me long, but Alhamdulillah, 
for that but i had this fear that the community is going to talk about me if i didn't have um a baby in a certain amount of time and because i i hear stories of other sisters who are struggling and i i i, I can hear the the way other people talk about them and and you know just even feeling sorry like you know oh yeah Allah didn't bless her you know I feel sorry for her oh my god oh my. it's just even that why even do that if you really really care and you should all of us should care is pray for them pray for them ask Allah to um, bless them to protect them and to um, you know just encourage them or don't even say anything that's that's better than <laughs> hearing phrases like you know she's gonna give an evil eye to my child that is just so terrible that really touched me I'm sure you guys can <laughs> like hear and feel my emotion because it really I could not believe somebody would be a you know can bring themselves to say that but all in all um, I share this story so that we can just stop we could just stop with that um, negative thinking about them and those sisters who are struggling your time will come inshallah and when it does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to um, fill your heart with happiness inshallah it's just excuse me it's around the corner you are going to get pregnant inshallah ta'ala um, and be patient and I'll pray for anybody um, who's going through that hardship inshallah all right I hope you guys have a great day and assalamu alaikum. Take care.